our casserole dish. Here we are. So these are the chicken tenders. And I actually have a half of a pack that I didn't use from before. And I'm gonna put my chicken tenders in like so. It called for about eight to 10, and let's see how many fits into our pan here. Okay, we're at eight. I like to make a little more because we like to have leftovers when I don't have time to cook the next day. It's a big comfort to have something already made. So we're going to make all of these. Okay. And that right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. That's 15 chicken tenders. So we'll have plenty left over for the next day. And I'm going to just rinse my hands off since I was touching raw chicken. Ready to season the chicken. The original recipe doesn't call for this, but I did this the last time. I like, I didn't want the chicken to be bland, so I put a little bit of Lowry seasoning on it. Just a little. I'll just sprinkle it over the chicken like so. Okay, and then you're going to put the cheese right over the top and it calls for six pieces so we're going to do that and as you can see this comes together pretty quickly all right put the chopped broccoli on and this I was down to a half a package of chopped broccoli this can be a value dish. I'm making it with uh, store brand products. You can make it with name brand, but I know everybody out there is not, um, you know, money is just not available to be slung around nowadays. So this can be, this is budget friendly. So I'm using store brands and they come out just as good. Just as good. The other recipes I saw on the internet and YouTube did not have broccoli. Um, so I'm going to put broccoli in because I want a one pan dish. I don't want to cook veggies on the side or anything. I want everything in one dish so I can put it in and forget about it. Okay. Now, next. You spoon over the cream of chicken, cream of mushroom mixture over the veggies and cheese. I'm trying to do this quickly. We'll be able to smooth it out a little. So just smooth this over a little bit here. Get it evenly coated. Now comes the flavored stuffing mix. And mine is chicken. Just, I'm going to make sure it's all through the breadcrumbs, the seasoning is all through the breadcrumbs. So I like to shake the bag a little bit. Make sure all the herbs and flavorings and seasonings get all over the casserole. I'm starting to use, to um, make casseroles now because my family is so busy and into sports and different things like that. And, Cooking, big dishes sometimes, a big meal sometimes is just not an option. So, okay, that's all evenly distributed. Now I'm going to put the margarine. I'm using margarine. You can use butter if you'd like. It's evenly coated. 
And then at the end, you can kind of stir it a little bit to get all the juices around. And voila, it's ready for the oven. We have our aluminum foil covering our dish. And we're going to go over to a 350 degree preheated oven. And, but I'm going to put it on the top rack. And that's going to go in for 50 minutes. And it's just, it has so much chicken, it might go 55 to one hour, but around 50 minutes to one hour. And in a minute, we'll come there back. It and is. And what I'm going to do, it's moist, but this is what was left in the can. You know how you have remnants in the can of the cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. So I just scraped it out real good. Put a little bit of water and a little bit of butter in there. And some people like their topping crunchy. I like mine's more soft and savory. So I'm just putting a little bit more on. And I have the oven on broil. And we're going to pop it back in the oven for about five minutes. And even though it's going to crunch up a little, when I get done, I'm going to stir it. And that'll get all okay. We're taking it out the oven. And it's all bubbly. And I just like to stir it just a little bit. Get it all creamy and everything. And get the cream of mushroom all over the breadcrumbs. Get a little bit more moist there and we are going to there we go cover it back up and let it stand for about 10 to 15 minutes about 10 minutes and it'll be ready to serve okay it has sat for a minute and ooh, that's how I like it. That's how I like it. It's good. I know it's going to taste good. Ooh, look at all that Swiss cheese. It's an excellent dish. Excellent dish. So thanks for watching.